<laughs> so, I take it we all got some good action this weekend? Tons. I got more dick than I got toes on my feet. Bitch, I got more hole than I've got fingers to count on. And I had more toes and fingers in all my holes than a human eye could see. Huh? I was in a dark room for a really long time. Yay! Yay. So where are your husbands at? Out of town. But we're open. Same. How often do you guys have sex without them? Constantly. I'm sex positive, babe. I had a three-way with my neighbors last night and a three-way with my neighbors last night. You said the same thing twice. Different neighbors. Ah! I'm so sex positive that I dipped out of my abuela's 100th birthday party so that I can go to a pump and dump in the back of the Ralphs. Ah! I'm so sex positive that I... That I... That I... Am I gonna eat the bologna or not? Yeah, not. Because I don't think that I'm sex positive. And I don't think you're sex positive either. <gasps> Excuse me, how could I be more sex positive? I'm on day three of a Z-Pack. And I own 51% of Flex Bathhouse Corporations. All I'm saying is that I feel like I'm beginning to blur the lines between being sex positive and being a sex addict. And what? You think we are too? Because let me tell you something, I'm not. I do shit, I do I do I do I do I do play, and I do hair and nails out of my garage for a very reasonable rate. Sex is like a handshake in the gay community. It's meaningless fun. Or is it meaningless because you're just numb to it? I think you're sex negative. And bitch positive. Just because you've got a load percolating in your ass doesn't mean that you're sex positive. <gasps> Two loads. Being sex positive has nothing to do with the amount of sexual activity that you're having. Being sex positive is about being open to all sorts of sexual identities and behaviors and topics without any shame or judgment of others. So then tell us what a sex addict is then. A sex addict is when sex is all consuming. Where can I get it? Who wants to have it with me? This app, his place, that club. And it usually ends up leading to negative consequences, which is what I felt like was beginning to happen to me. Mm-hmm. I think once you start to soothe yourself or escape your problems or hurt the people that you care about because of your need for sexual activity, that's when the lines begin to blur. Hmm, yes they can, but lots of times they don't. Some people, not just gay people, have healthy sex drives and high libidos. And as long as there's consent, you can have sex all day, every day with strangers or not, and still be happy and healthy and productive. <sighs> yeah, you guys are right. Go on, do your thing. I'm not judging, I just started to feel like I was maybe getting in over my head this past summer with all the sex stuff, and I thought, maybe you guys felt the same. Yeah, I have felt that way before, but now I just check in with myself to make sure I'm not getting too carried away. <laughs> same. Hey, let's try something new. How about no sex Mondays? Ah! Okay. okay. <gasps> There's only one piece of baloney left. Ah, <laughs> sisters! <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking Monday days, right? Nights are okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay.